Good evening, everyone. This is your host, Logic Blade, and we're back! After a short little break, we're back at it again with some more Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time around, we uh, took care of some business in Rackwell. We discovered that we discovered the second group of Jaegers that have been uh, palling around here, Neat Hog. And uh, after doing that, we sent the kids home, had a night on the town with uh, our former instructor, Sarah. Our, uh, I don't know if we can call her a friend, but Angelica. And uh, we happened to run into Captain Claire uh, back there as well. Although I suppose she's a uh, major Claire now. Uh, in any case, we had uh, quite a lot of fun. We ended up uh, getting into a high-stakes game of Vantage Masters with uh, Rutger Clausel, and he was able to give us the barest fragments of information. So, you know, we kind of did all that for nothing. In any case, uh, we've still got more field study to do here in Ordis, as uh, the Imperial Provincial Council starts today, so we've got a lot of work to take care of. Oh man. So that we're sending Sarah and Angelica off early in the morning here. <laughs> uh, Claire as well. Apparently Major Claire's going all the way back to Heimdall rather than uh, sticking around to provide security. And since they know about the Jaegers, we don't need to worry about that anymore. We've got the Provincial Army on the case. But we've got other requests and patrols to check out, so we might as well take care of our business. <laughs> First our camp gets ambushed, then the tower gets attacked. Yeah, we didn't have anything absurd happen to us today. So, uh... <laughs> Let's see what we gotta deal with today. We've got three semi-required quests? What? I don't... whatever. So there's a uh, cryptid on the Northland Rock Canyon Road. Raising the Bardius. We got a mock battle with uh, the members of the Juno Naval Fortress. Uh, and a tale of two shops. And Ferris has a quest for us at the Rivera Court, so we better check all those out. Them being semi-required means, uh, once we deal with two of them, we, uh, trigger the events for the next, uh... <laughs> uh, the next story event, so... <laughs> but yeah, we're basically going all over the place. From the Canyon Road to the Juno Fortress, all the way to Ordis proper. We're going to be busy.
Okay, yeah, that is how I remembered it being. Um, so while I am here, just talking to myself, I'm getting really close to getting the uh, Elisa part of my story done. It's uh, also turned out to be quite a bit longer than I expected. I'm probably going to be around 5,000 words by the time I'm done. Normally, I like to keep it around the 3,000 to 4,000 range, so, you know. It ended up being a bit longer, but I think it turned out pretty nicely. I mean, I'm as, as confident as I can be in my own writing, I'll which take I a look, then. tend to hate, like, two weeks later. <laughs> I don't think I have enough information for any of them, but I'm just checking anyway. Let's. Ch yeah, and I don't touch on it has anything for us. <laughs> of course, she's worried about the Jaeger course, naturally. Yeah, not enough yet. Anyway. I'm gonna be messing around with Reem's equipment just a little bit here. Why you ask? Uh, you'll you'll see. Don't don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm not totally making Reen into a uh, tank here? No, not at all. What are you what are you talking about? So I take a small drop in arts to uh, increase my chance of uh, just murdering enemies with time spells. Yeah, that seems fine. Plus 50 damage. Plus 50 damage. I'm, I'm surprised they let the Hades Gem and Night Gleam stack. It's kind of, kind of crazy. But, you know, that's, uh, that's what they do. So yeah, Altina's got her niche all set up. Let's uh, let's uh, run the floor. I think I have to, yeah, swap my tactics up because that's just how it goes. Okay, ultimate team assembled. Team is good. Let's go talk to people now. Kyrie's just hanging out here all by himself again. He can't attend the Provincial Council because he's just uh, the son of a baron, rather than a high-ranking noble. Uh, however, Leonori here has an exclamation point above her head. Let's see what uh, she has to say. It seems like she's worried about someone. Apparently her uh, friends got involved in some pretty shady stuff. <laughs> I guess uh, there's a lot going on that needs to be unpacked. <laughs> I feel like there should be a way to talk to him one day, but uh, we'll have to we'll have to deal with that another time. We don't even know who this Herman guy is. <laughs> uh, 
Tita isn't even in the uh, factory right now. So I guess we're just gonna go check on Valmar and then bug everyone outside the train cars here. <laughs> and of course Valmar is being, you know, the Ashen Dad. Don't get into trouble, kids. <laughs> it's like, okay, sure, we won't. We probably will, but we'll try not to. I don't know why I keep checking this. Thanks. Yes. I've got everyone's weapons customized, so I don't need to worry about that. I do have some uh, Mira to exchange. Or Thanks. to exchange for I'll Mira. Help. <laughs> uh, Thanks. Does, doesn't have anything new I can use there, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See ya. Yeah, I picked up some things, apparently. I didn't even realize I had these. But yeah, these seem like they'd be pretty useful on certain people. So we're just gonna go ahead and switch those up. I guess Ash and Gustav get along pretty well here. <laughs> what should I enhance? Uh, be careful! Apparently he also does the uh, weapons maintenance for Ash, so... That yeah, makes sense that they're pretty good buddies. I mean, they look after each other pretty well. <laughs> Sandy's hey, already thinking about dinner. Everything. Way to go. Just buying a few ingredients. See you God, again. Watermelons are expensive for what they are. Basically, just glorified tear palms. <laughs> just tell me what you need. He also has some limited stock, naturally. Um, nothing we haven't already acquired, though, so. Take care. Don't Just tell me it. what you need. And I don't think he has anything new here either. No, no, he does not. I'll buy one of those, though. Looks like he's upgraded his accessories at the very least. Come again! Anyway, that's enough of that. We could just bike everywhere we wanted to go, but, uh, let's fast travel instead. We're gonna go deal with the, uh, Cryptid and Rackwell first. God, I love fast travel. Makes my life so much easier. <laughs> Well, people don't get up in the morning in Rackwell, it seems. Because they've been out partying all night.
Hello, hello. How's it going, Gravity and Biscuits? It's been a while. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Before we leave, let's go bug some people in Rackwell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I'm doing it right, the delay should only be about seven to eight seconds. Otherwise, you know, then some, then bad stuff happens. But, uh, so far so good. I haven't jinxed it yet. <laughs> One second. That's, uh, that is highly unusual. I did not think I could ever get it that fast. <laughs> Don't need to exchange anything right now. What I do need to do is go back to Ash's house and uh, raid his house of stuff. So we're gonna mosey on over there. Uh, how have you been, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I got I got pretty lucky there. I think uh, if the AI was a little bit better, I would have lost that fight because he would have been able to get another attack on me without me uh, being able to defend it, or at the very least, it would have been a tie. Regardless, it would have been just a pain in the neck. <laughs> Uh, so I'm glad I got it done in one try, and that I don't have to do it ever again. <laughs> anyway, let's stop by Ash's place, check out his, uh, family photo. <laughs> oh? How so? So yeah, we got Ash's photo nice and safe. He's he's a surprisingly good kid. Always looking after the sentimental things. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's rough. I I know what that's like. <laughs> Been dealing with some uh crazy stuff myself, so and uh I can understand where you're coming from. Uh, am I supposed to find Sarah and Bugger? Maybe. She's probably in the Hermit. I'll check there first before just, like, progressing with the quest. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing I checked it. Uh, looks like uh, Maya's here to go bug her father. <laughs> hey, Pats fan, how's it going? Maya's chewing out her deadbeat dad. <laughs> and of course, Reen's like, no, we should get out of their family drama. <laughs> Although Sarah's here just like listening to it from a distance while she's having a beer. <laughs> actually, it looks like she's actually drinking water. <laughs> Treat me like some offering for the dead. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, Bianca. Alrighty then. 
Let's go kill a cryptid. For real this time. You know, it's been alright. I wanted to stream, uh, yesterday, but stuff happened. So, uh, now I'm doing it today. Because I have the opportunity to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's technically 2 a.m. here, but I mean, I don't go to bed and sleep at regular times. Who, who does that? <laughs> I mean, I work nights, so I'm, I'm used to this. And by, uh, saying we're gonna take this quest, Sarah decides to get out of the bar. <laughs> of course they do. Well, Sarah's coming along because Bracer is exterminate monsters, so we'll uh we'll keep her on our side for now. <laughs> of course, Green's like, oh yeah, Sarah's great. She's the best. spent 30 minutes on some mushrooms, yet I spent four hours writing this awesome backstory for this one character that they don't even care about because they were just interested in bugging this goblin named Boblin for... <laughs> uh, sorry. That's, uh, that's my D&D experience. me and Instructor Sarah to achieve success. Guess what we're not going to be doing for this fight. <laughs> well, I can't tell if this mushroom's poisonous or not. Better shove it in my mouth. That's uh, also the D&D &D experience. Now's our chance. Okay, roll the saving throw. What? What? <laughs> Yeah, and then it's just all like mushy and gooey and gross. Oh, I hate mushrooms. Oh, did we <laughs> win? Oh, hey, Link level threes all around. It's pretty good considering I pretty much never have Reen in my party with the class seven kids. <laughs> there. Anyway. Let's just kill these weird platypus looking dudes. As your wings shoot! Alright! My turn! Yeah! I'll 
resist. Now. Reenact, <laughs> activate, fire. I'm going. Huh? It's my turn. You can't escape. Fire! Wide open. I'll assist. So close. Yeah. My turn. Hey, you. Rest in peace. <laughs> Done already. At the very least, you can sell them for something. <laughs> Sorry guys, we were on this quest to stop this ancient evil from lurking out, but we decided to become mushroom farmers instead. There! Yeah! Fine! Bring it! Ah, take this! Our chance! I'll assist. Yes! Azure wings, shoot! Now's our chance! It's mine! God damn it, Yuna's right there. Nope. Wide open! Everyone ready? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes! There. Yeah. Now. Always nice to get a little bit of a break off work. I know I could use yeah. one of those. <laughs> Battle complete. Let's continue. Looks like those guys are really susceptible to instant death, so... Yeah, uh, I did it! Altina's being really I good for me right even now. More. <laughs> uh, see you in a bit, Bats fan. <laughs> uh, right, there's not too many treasures in this area. I was thinking there might be more, but not really. There! Wide open! Azure wings, shoot! Now's our chance! It's mine! It's my turn! Ah, take this! Wide open! I'll assist. My turn. Reenact, activate, fire! Uh. Now! It's mine! It's good to be back. Sure. I don't know why Ash defaults so far to the back. I need to fix it's that. It's my turn. Ha! Let's go. It's mine. I got this. Can't get. You're can't mine. Get all of them. It's my turn. Let's go! Raging fire formation! I'm going! Yeah! I keep coming! All right! You can't escape! Fire! My turn! You're mine! I'm going! Huh? My turn. Arcus activate. Ha! I'm going. Ha! Here I go. Yeah. Nice. We did it. Good. Yeah. Now these these monsters are kind of chumps at this rate, so. I don't have too much to worry about with these fights. I'm just trying to get all the new monsters for my uh, profile. Ah, oh, treasure chest. Like the Cross Crusade R quartz there. And, 
Here's the cryptid, so let's just save real quick. And let's, uh, let's take it out. Oh, it's a big spicy boy. It's the Urk Ganon. No relation to Pig Ganon. <laughs> oh, there's a uh, red pleroma grass here. That's not good. And it looks like if uh, cryptids and magic knights are appearing in Crossbell, it stands to reason they'll appear in Erebonia as well. <laughs> just gonna quickly heal up. And we'll just run directly into it. Looks like a toughie. What a passionate foe! Uh, sure. We'll go with that. Nope. Our chance. I'll assist. I'm going. Huh? It's my turn. Go wild, crazy hunt. It's my turn. Stop! Wide open! I'll assist. Ha! I'm gonna refresh that sure. shining buff. And, uh... You're mine! Try to spread out my group yeah! just a little bit. Keep it up! <laughs> <laughs> My turn. I'll support. Arjun heal. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I'm going. Um. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's start getting the beat down on. Super weak to fire and time. Okay. Arcus, activate. <laughs> Nope. Our chance! Everyone ready? Understood. Got it. Leave it to me! <laughs> Damn it! Don't give up! Thank you. Here I go! Yeah, maybe I should be a bit more uh, sensitive about my uh, current health uh, situation. Take this! Our chance! I'll assist. Do it! Or I can just go all out. I need to do something. <laughs> oh, she can't cure herself with that. Then what's the point? Just Argus do activate. That. I got this. Sounds like you're dealing with something. <laughs> yeah. It's down. Oh yeah. Keep it up. I'm going. That's always good to see. I mean, life's tough. It's it's hard. So I'm glad I can. Uh, I'm glad I can at least help you out a little bit through this, even if all I'm doing is just shooting the shit and uh, beating the crap out of monsters. Huh? <laughs> now. It's going to release before I do that. Play. Oops. Yeah. There. It's mine. All right. Ah, take this. Our chance. I'll assist. Do it. Yes! 
All right. Scatter your foes! Light speed flash! I'm going! Yeah, I can probably just wail on it. Yeah. Another chance! <laughs> it's mine! Sure. Oh, for sure. I mean, a lot of my social life these days is on Discord rather than uh, real life or anything. It's down. Of course, uh, part of that might also be the fact that it. it's uh, been snowing like crazy for the past few days, and uh, I'm practically snowed in right now. So. <laughs> You're amazing, Ash. You just realized that now? <laughs> uh, jeez. Ash's arrogance knows no bounds. And got the Keeper Quartz up to level 5. <laughs> nice! We also got the uh, Biako Quartz, which is <laughs> I grew a little. really nice status effect quartz. <laughs> Can I want a refund? <laughs> yeah. Weather has been incredibly abnormal this year. I mean, our summer was basically, like, temperate all all season long, and then our winter has been uh, a mix of, well, our fall, I guess, has been a mix of, like, incredibly hot weather, and then, like, minus 10 and snowy. So it's, like, no real in-between. <laughs> But that's Canada for you. Speaking of, Grey Cups this week. <laughs> and uh, the bet that I put $5 on at the start of the year has a 50% chance of uh, actually winning me some money. Uh, I picked Winnipeg to win it all, so i um, kind of surprised that Winnipeg's actually in the Grey Cup now. Yeah, that's right. I'm I'm from the great and wonderful city of Calgary, which uh, apparently makes people think I'm like super conservative because obviously all people from Calgary are super conservative. <laughs> Dude, we kicked its ass, you know. We did great. <laughs> I'd like for him to give us all kinds of new experiences. Oh, Muse, please. <laughs> uh. And of course, uh, Sarah's going back to drinking, because that's what she does best. Yuna, not. No, that's a lie. <laughs> Don't believe that. <laughs> oh jeez, everyone picking making fun of Sarah. <laughs> yeah, we can vote green all we want in Alberta, we're still gonna get like outvoted seventy to seventy to everyone else. <laughs> Got it was kind of absurd the uh, last uh, last election uh, in any case uh, dealt with that monster so let's make a quick save and uh, go through hell because it's time for uh, an incredibly difficult boss fight because Duels tend to be fairly difficult in these games, for whatever reason. Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna fast travel right on over to the Juno Sea Fortress.
exactly. It's hard to put anyone into like a specific uh Let's go! <laughs> Ready to go. A specific uh party. It's just, you know. Having selection's actually nice and uh I feel bad for I feel bad for Americans who don't actually have a choice in their in their politics. But that's another story for another time. I feel very weird when I talk to, like, tourists from America who are like, Oh yeah, we have so much freedom and our country's so great. And I talk to them a bit about it, and I just slowly lean into their political system, and then sometimes they start to get it that it's like, Wait a minute, we don't really have political freedom, do we? No, no you do not. Anyway, we're going to have a mock battle with the Provincial Army, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> Oof. Oh boy. That's a, that is a spicy hot take. Yeah, General Wallace is about the only person you can hold serve with, uh, Aurelia. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's boost their morale by beating the shit out of them. A powerful battle awaits you upon accepting this request. Be certain to check the equipment of all party members before accepting. Well, I mean, I've already saved. I'm, I'm good to go. Let's, let's charge recklessly into battle. <laughs> yeah, to be quite honest, a two-party system is effectively a no-party system. But of course, any failing of democracy is a failing of its citizens to act rather than the political system itself. Corrupt people will naturally flock to power, and it's up to the citizens themselves to act in a matter accordingly to stop that from happening. Anyway, it seems we didn't even get to, like, fight them. We just, you know, skipped to here. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so much for the guy swamped with paperwork. Here he is just strutting into this mock battle. Like, oh no, the adults are talking without us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> God damn it, Ash. Stop provoking everyone you meet. <laughs> he came all the way from Sutherland just to kick the Marquis's ass while still getting half the respect. That's gotta stress you out, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, no worries. I mean, politics is just a weird discussion, and it's kind of all people can talk about nowadays, so it's not like I really mind. <laughs> but in... Much, much more exciting news. 
Wait, I don't have much more exciting news. Damn it, I'm supposed to segue into something cool there. Like, oh yeah, I finished my story. I haven't yet. I'm really, really close, though. I've just gotta write this last scene, and I think that I think I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Ash is really spoiling for a fight. <laughs> this is nuts, but I really want to fight too. <laughs> Couldn't keep him quiet if I tried. <laughs> Alright then. So, now it's time to fight General Bardius. No. Five on one showdown. May this be an honorable duel. <laughs> Come at me. All right, so we gotta get his health down to ten percent or less. I'm going. <laughs> All right. Huh? All right. Huh? <laughs> Don't give up! Thank you. Did I not heal there. from the previous fight or something? That's uh. In trouble. Whoops. That's that wasn't part of the plan. Well. Break through! Sledgehammer! Let's fix that real quick trouble. here. There. There. It's mine. I got this. I believe that's... Yeah. I'm not sure. Admittedly, I'm not super well-versed on uh, types of spears, but it doesn't look like the same kind of halberd that Gaius uses. Thank you. Although it is very, very cool looking, I gotta say. Arcus, activate! Yeah. <laughs> sure. You're mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take <this. laughs> Do it. <laughs> yes. Huh. Well, we're still not in a very good spot right now. Wonder. Can't heal over that. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! It's mine! I shall go. You can try targeting my actual uh, dodge Clean tank though, Bardius. That would be nice. I'm going! Your wings shoot! It's my turn! Uh, take this! Sure. Fine. Kid! <laughs> yes! Said go for the go for the dodge tank. God damn it. Thanks. Thanks for Thanks. the help. Nuh-uh! 
Here I go. That actually sounds pretty useful, actually. Like. Because I mean, there. it can't be easy to always land a land a hit with your uh, with your spear. But uh, even if you just like graze them, you still slice them up pretty bad. That seems you. incredibly useful. <laughs> Thanks. There we go. Nope. Wide open. I'll assist. It's my turn. Don't look at me like that. My turn. You're mine. What? Now. All right. Now he's broken. Strike. Wind blade formation. We're now. just gonna get as many turns as we can muster on him. There. Gah! There. It's mine. Gah! Here I go. Ah, take this. Gah! Our chance! I'll assist. Gah! It's my turn. Arcus, activate! Here I go! Ah! Gah! Wide open! I'll assist. Gah! Now. Rianac, activate. Fire. Gah! There. It's mine! Gah! I got this. Go wild! Crazy hunt! I got this. You're mine! Gah! Yeah! Keep it up! Gah! It's my turn! Ah, take this! Gah! Wide open! Alice. Now, let's dance! I ain't done with you yet! All right, let's see if we can uh, yeah! finish them off with this. Helio, rain! <laughs> Sweet dreams. Not quite, but I mean, we still won, so we'll take it. Level thirty-seven for everybody. Uh, no Sabbath though. Which is a shame. <laughs> well, it seems like uh, we got to beat him, but he beat us in a cutscene. So, you know, the standard fare. <laughs> Hey, Schwarzer, you want to fight too? Yeah, yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> and of course, you know, naturally, Bartius is talking to him about the Northern War, saying, hey, why don't you see how far you got? Well, let's see if we can uh, stand off face to face against uh, one of the strongest members of the uh, Noble Alliance. Dark Whirlwind, howl! Violent Gale! I'm up! Let's go, Evan Crest! Let's go! <sighs> Spirit Unification! <laughs> I'm up! 
Roar! Helix Strike! I'm up! <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Get back! <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> Such a strange coincidence. What? I guess, uh, because it turns out Canadians just really like this series. <laughs> Let's right. go. I can't get more brave points. Right, whatever. Arcus, activate! Kid. <sighs> yeah! <clears throat> Let's go! Resonate! Divine Song Formation! Alright then. It's my turn! Let's get stupid. Uh... Ha! Let's go. Ha. Let's go. Yeah. I'm up. Get back. It's my turn. All right. Um, I should have some cooking to help restore my EP. I would think and that's not very much. Twenty. Ugh. Never mind. I don't think I really have anything great for that. Cool. Good to know. Violent game. Let's go. All right, this might be. I might be in a bit of trouble here. Probably trying to play this too cute. Second form. Gale. <laughs> Kid. Can't lose. Oh, I'm about to lose. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Get back. Kid. I'm up. God, what a pain in the ass. Let's go. Crimson Slash! Kid! It's my turn! Yeah! Let's go! Roar! Heal it straight! Come on, give me a turn. Give me a turn. Nope, he's not giving me a turn. Uh. It's my turn! Ah, God. Arcus, activate! Kid! Yeah! I can't lose! I can't lose! Let's go. I can still fight. <laughs> Kid. <sighs> it's my turn. Job hunt is tough. I mean, <sighs> 
I'm fortunate that I have a job that pays me decently well, but I mean, it's also physically demanding, and always exhausting, but... It's my turn! I mean, it's pretty much you gotta take what you can get these days, it's... It is not... It's not easy times for people, that's for sure. Crimson Slash! Let's go! I'm up! Uh, I'm planning to do about three hours, uh, depending on how long this Walls fight takes, hopefully that won't be the whole three hours of my stream. Crimson Slash! But, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's my turn! Um... Resonate! I'm up! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Got him real close. Roar! Come on. Helix Strike! I was nope. foolish. There we go. <laughs> this is the Blade of the Eight Leaves. Alright, so the super defensive strategy eventually managed to work, but man, that was a tight squeeze. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia and Keeper Quartz, <laughs> for making that strategy even remotely feasible. Uh... Oh, we took him to half health, and that counts as a win. <laughs> Uh. All this talk of men and pride and honor. We've chosen the wrong path and we're gonna stick to it, damn it. <laughs> I just think of him as part of fulfilling my duties. Just as you ought to focus on your special operations missions. <laughs> so, yeah. We got... We managed to successfully bloody General Wallace. Didn't manage to uh, do more than that, but hey. We'll take it. And of course our students like, you did a good job. We're proud of you. <laughs> Always nice to see. Anyway, for uh, successfully completing that mission, we got the Storm Battle Quartz, 4,000 Mira, and a couple of bonus AP. And now that we've done two of the semi-required quests, we've received a call. My apologies, Reem. Do you have a moment? Oh, it's our buddy Yusus. <laughs> He'll be arriving late, no doubt due to his late night drinking. <laughs> well, apparently Milliam's gone missing. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, 
whoever receives those submissions will uh, read them when they're ready. I'm sure they're not uh, checking their phone at all hours of the day. <laughs> but yeah, even if you're not submitting uh, resumes and cover letters and such, you can at least look and see exactly what your uh, what the places you're applying to are looking for. Try to uh, understand what they want, and then tailor your resume and cover letter to uh, kind of match what they want to see. Because you know, you gotta you gotta play the game, and uh, it's not a very fun game. <laughs> Oh, that, that's also true. I mean, I'm used to doing things at night anyway, so it's like, that didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> well, anyway, let's, uh... Take a look at some of our new quartz here. Uh, Yako Quartz says strength plus 40, has a chance to blind or sleep your opponents, so. That might actually be better than the freeze quartz for uh, Yuna here. We've also got the Storm Bell, which is uh, good for wind spells. We don't really have any real wind casters. Kurt isn't much of a caster, despite having two Wind Quartz locked here. So, won't worry about him too much. Yeah. And we're gonna put back Reen's normal, normal Quartz setup. As uh, much as I appreciate the uh, super defensive nature of that, Having the CP recovery is much better for just random fights and such. Anyway, we're gonna fast travel to the business district here in Ordis. Because, uh, we've got one more quest we need to take care of before, uh, trying to find wherever the hell, uh, Milliam's gone off to. So let's just talk to Ferris here. Looks like, uh, they've caught Kleist Maul's sail manager in some, uh, shady actions. Naturally. So they're, uh, slandering the products of the Riviera Court. Naturally. And they've been, uh, causing shipments to, uh, disappear. But since they can't get any proof of these actions, we, uh, we need to go digging. <laughs> Culprit is Wad's Heads of Security. His name is Herman. We've, uh, we just heard that name before, at the very start of the episode. <laughs> so, yeah, let's take care of this request. See if we can't, uh, help Ferris out. Alright then, let's get the drop on these shady dealings. <laughs> Don't do anything violent, okay? Unless the situation calls for it. <laughs> Alright, time to start our stakeout. And so everyone prepared to head to the wharf. Split into two groups of three, gather evidence and find the culprits. Naturally.
Uh, I remember this quest being a fun one in the uh, in Japanese, so can't wait to see what it's like in English. <laughs> Ash, you shouldn't let so much of yourself shine through. <laughs> well, they got some guys on lookout. Got Yuna and Altina on the roof. <laughs> oh, it's so boring. Instructor Reen, can you whisper words into my ear? Now's not the time! <laughs> anyway, it looks like the head of security has arrived in his fancy orbital bike. Yeah, he doesn't have a helmet. He's already violating the traffic laws. Way to go. <laughs> yeah, dude's name is literally Rogue. Oh, no. They're all rogues. What what a bunch of haberdashers. <laughs> Quit complaining. Listen, I'm desperate too. Crush Rivera Court within half a year? Those were the orders he gave me. From what I've heard, he doesn't tolerate failure. If we fail, we're all screwed, including Wads. Uh, I haven't played a Pokemon game since, uh, X, actually, so... I'm, uh, kind of missing out on all the new stuff. Oh man, they got guns. And yeah, we're gonna burn the store down. <laughs> Someone might get caught up in the blaze, but yeah, let's let's go murder some people. Good job, guys. Who's there? <laughs> yeah, got someone who won't stand for it. Kick their ass, you know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta love, gotta love mook jokes. <laughs> Secure the bike, guys. <laughs> uh, apparently, Muse couldn't get the good shot off because of the sea breeze. Oh well. Guess it's up to us. So, who should we send to pursue whom? Herman? Uh, Yuna? Kurt? Or Ash? Uh, the correct choice here is Yuna. We need someone who's capable of riding the bike to take care of this, so... All three of them are reasonable choices, but... Yuna's the best. Because y Yuna's the best. <laughs> so... Should we speed up, honk the horn, or take the same route he did? N naturally. I feel like that could have used a quick pass in editing for, uh, take the same route as Herman, rather than take the Herman route. <laughs> He's using drifting on a straight path. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna drift too. Clearly it'll make us go faster. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, Yuna's not wearing a helmet either, actually. <laughs> so, should we dodge, wait for an opening, or hit him back? He's trying to race like it's F-Zero here. Let's wait for an opening. And that's it for, uh, fun quiz time. Now it's just a uh, matter of taking him down. Eyes on the road, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Randy. And of course, we got somebody else here as well. Leonora. Good. Beat some sense into this dumbass. <laughs> the hell? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Glad someone's here to set him straight. <laughs> Always good to have someone to talk shit to you. And man, Herman didn't stand a chance. And now we can, uh, pin the blame on this guy. <laughs> Ooh, I received a friend request. How lovely. <laughs> I'll have to check that out when I stop streaming. That's part of your job, dumbass. So what do you plan to do from here on? Now look, it's Hugo. Is he here to set the record straight? <laughs> I am Managing Director Hugo Kleist of Kleist & Co. I just came for a visit, but it seems some interesting developments are going on here. Mind if I joined in on the discussion? Please allow me to explain. These fools are accusing me of. Let's have our lawyers take care of this. They should be skilled enough to handle these whelps. <laughs> uh. In any event, you're fired. You must be tired from these last six months. Rest in jail or wherever else you'd like. <laughs> Paris, sue the pants off them. <laughs> Not a very good deal. <laughs> but if that's what she wants to go with, that's what she wants to go with. She is the client after all.
Don't... Hugo, no, don't give them another chance. <laughs> so this is corporate life. Yup. Yup, that's why you don't want to be a corporate toady. If you can avoid it. <laughs> Give them a chance to make license plates in prison. Yep, that's fair. <laughs> and of course, we can't grill him about his connections to the government or anything, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, I feel like they're getting off too scot-free for what they've done. I mean, threatening to commit arson, and, uh, having actual firearms, that seems like, you know, that should just be, like, a downright criminal offense rather than a civil one. Might, might just be me, though. In any case, uh, we get the still blue for our trouble, along with a bit of Mira. And because we answered all the well, we did all the bike chasing scenes right, we got an extra 2 AP, so we're doing fairly well for ourselves. And, uh, now that we have a still blue, we're gonna drop that on Muse right away, get our arts up to nearly a thousand here. I doubt there's anything new we can grab, but I just want to check anyway. Nope. Cool. So before we go uh, checking at the Noble District, checking with Yusus, let's uh, head back to the field exercise camp real quick. Actually, she's in the she's in the dining hall. Why don't I just? jump over there. So yeah, talk to her after, after these events, and uh... <laughs> I guess she feels better after telling him off. And she's telling us a bit about her past, uh, how she used to be part of a pirate group known as the Silver Whale. However, they ended up being a really good escort fleet instead, so they decided to do that instead. <laughs> the Jaegers of the Sea. So we learn a little bit about Leonora. We get a bit of extra Mira. All in all, not a not a bad conclusion to events. I guess we've gotten used to how things panned out with the last two. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You've got good taste. Ah, give it a try. All right then. 
That's enough of that. Let's, uh... Head to the Oris Coastal Road for no reason whatsoever. What's that? What's that in the distance there? Is that a green exclamation point? That's right, we got ourselves a hidden quest. Way out in the distance here. <laughs> they don't, uh... They're not fooling around. Wide open! There! Our chance! I'll assist. I'm going! Yeah! Now's our chance! It's mine! You're amazing, Ash! <laughs> Alright, there was one more thing I had to do. Run something like that. Alright then, let's go. Let's go grab that hidden quest before we uh, forget about it. Because just past the rocks and such here, there is a uh, there's a guy here. About as hidden as possible. Let's, uh, talk to him. Say hello to Alistair. <laughs> A man of overflowing passion. <laughs> For treasure, of course. <laughs> Seems like we got a real weirdo here. Let's, uh, let's go dig for treasure. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> I mean, after all, it's treasure. And it's an actual treasure chest. What a surprise. Inside is another map. Yeah, I mean, that's what I do is, oh, it's a map to exactly the same spot we're in right now. Whoops. <laughs> you are here. <laughs> So, uh, Reen's telling us about the, uh, ancient history of pirates in, uh, in Zamuria, the pirate Galleon who sailed Erebonia, and the pilot, uh, the pirate Shermer who was, uh, gaining infamy in Ruan in Liberal. We dealt with a few quests of his. <laughs> Apparently he's looking for an inspiration for a new song. And uh, apparently piracy is uh, how he's going to find it. <laughs> we might as well keep looking. I mean, we've got a treasure map to a, to a treasure map. 
Let's uh let's keep going. So you can check the old maps in your item menu. So we're gonna, gonna go take a quick peek at those. So this was the first one, as we can see it pointed us to the Oris Coastal Road. And here's the second one. It's pointing us uh, somewhere to the northeast there. That's actually right around where the Juno Sea Fortress is. Oh, right, I also received no photographs. Here's Shan Shan. Here's Becky, who's looking like she's about ready to beat the shit out of us. And one of Ferris. Which is just, you know, a very nice glamour shot. <laughs> Alright. So, we're just gonna fast travel up to the, uh... Northeast there. Right, I have to go to the highway to find it. Ready to go! Yeah, we take the long sea fortress road here. We actually want to take the little detour down here. Because now there's something in this, this place here. Check the shiny spot. Behold, it's another treasure chest. It's another map. <laughs> oh, brother, quit jerking us around. <laughs> so let's open up uh, this one, see where it leads us. Uh, looks like the X is somewhere on the highway itself. Interesting. That, uh, somewhere on the highway itself is right in the field exercise camp, so... We'll go ahead and, uh, just grab that real quick. Check out, uh, the spot by the tree here. And we receive a travel log and a faded crystal. <laughs> it's the journey, not the destination. Let's go report back to our client. So, back to... Back to the inn here. Uh... Sorry. Wrong inn. It's, uh, the Sea Breeze Tavern we want to go to. Talk to Alistair here. <laughs> Appears to be, uh, the Pirate Galleon's Diary. <laughs> Apparently this is exactly what Alistair was looking for. And, uh, we received the Ocean Bell for our troubles. <laughs> so, we got that. We got 3,000 Mira. Seems like a pretty good deal, all things considered. And that Ocean Bell is going on a uh, Muse right away here. Now our water arts are just super fast. Keeping Athlas on for the time being. But, uh, you know, it's kind of weird that I don't have anything better than just regular old Athlas. 
It's a bit of a shame. I mean, sure? Why not? Just... just frickin' go for it. <laughs> uh... Just cast as many spells as fast as we possibly can. Do I need anything else while I'm here? Probably not. Alright. To the Noble District. Now that we've done all the random quests in the area, we can go talk to Usus and, uh, see if we can't find out where, uh, Milliam and them have gone off to. <laughs> Reigns is gonna try really hard to get inside the Imperial Provincial Council somehow. It's gotta be tough being a spy. I, I mean, reporter. <laughs> but luckily, they'll let us enter, because... You know, we're actually military personnel. <laughs> yeah, they got practically all the big names here. The big deal nobles, anyway. Now that all the unreasonable ones have been, uh, dealt with. And are otherwise currently incapacitated. <laughs> Something of a personal matter, but my wife has gone missing. Your, your wife? Uh, sorry, my, my soon-to-be wife. She's still technically underage. <laughs> Naturally, Altina's worried. And the fact that an Intelligence Division agent is missing bodes very ill for all of us. Let's go find her. <laughs> this titty stupid big and you're not giving us Jack to start with. <laughs> guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, there's Jaegers battling there. Lots of no concern. Jesus Christ, I hate this guy every time he says something. Just 
just a little bit more each and every time. Just gonna say that right out in the open. Yeah, it seems like Ballad's supplying the Imperial Army here. Ah, uh, what a tool. What an utter tool. <sighs> oh, Muse, that would be a bad idea. Seems like their hands are pretty tied considering what they have to deal with. So, we can't really count on support, but that's nah, fine. We'll be fine. We'll go find Milliam. <laughs> so, let's check out the eateries and maybe we'll find something, find something good. Granny's ice cream in the commercial district is supposed to be the best. <laughs> Let's try the Sea Breeze Tavern. <laughs> and the uh, Tavern Miranda. <laughs> Seems like good enough places to start. Aw, Altina's hungry. Let's uh, stop and get some food for Altina as well. <laughs> so let's uh, let's get some ice cream. Granny's uh, ice cream stall is just over here. Granny Jacqueline. <laughs> she ordered a five scoop ice cream oh my god <laughs> apparently she was uh, hunting down something at the island ruins well if she went silent then uh, being on that random island in the middle of nowhere seems like a good place to start First, Reen's gonna buy everyone some ice cream. <laughs> I'll never turn down free ice cream. <laughs> Eating the special ice cream restored everyone's CP by 100. Aww. She also has the Aquamarine ice cream for sale. Better remember to pick that up before we go. Am I missing recipes right now? No, that was next in line. Uh... Please eat it all, even if it's not good. <laughs> oh, I recommend this. Apparently, that was Muse's specialty. Covered. <laughs> this came out great! Ooh! I did it! <laughs> uh, huh, what a pain. Whew, not bad! Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go, uh... Let's 
Let's go to our next destination. Back to the Sea Breeze Tavern here. Talk to Mr. Edmund here. Apparently she came around 3 p.m. yesterday, ordered some Bula base, and then a second helping, and a third helping. <laughs> and she was also asking about the runes here. We'll have to bug him for some Bula Base another day. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good recipe, that's for sure. Our last destination is in the Harbor District here. So let's go ahead and uh, check here. Maybe get some uh, Paella. also here in the afternoon, so we know she went to all three of these places sometime in the afternoon. And managed to finish the entire paella. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, of course Yuna would be jealous about that. <laughs> Apparently she was asking about the waves in the water. Maybe she was actually planning to go out to the island herself. <laughs> so, let's uh, gather some information. Naturally, our wannabe detective is helping us out with that. So, in what order did she move around the city? Did she go to the tavern first? Did she go to the ice cream stand first? Or did she go to the inn first? Uh, it was actually the ice cream stand first. Because she needed to ask about some ruins, then bug the innkeeper about stuff, and then went to the sailor's tavern to see if she could get a boat. And... What conclusion can be reached based on the information we gathered? Was she looking for food? Was she investigating inland ruins? Or was she trying to go to the island? Yeah. And yeah, there was a point in time where Group B stayed on Baroni Island for a couple of nights. <laughs> yeah, there's a giant statue on that island, a hundred arch tall, which is where the members of Ouroboros were gathering at the very start of this chapter. So, we've got our lead, we know where Milliam should be, the Byronia Island, but, uh, we've got a couple of things to do first before, uh, doing that. That's right, we got, we gotta go bug a maid about a certain, certain card game. If we can find her. 
She's probably in the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh let's challenge her to some uh, good old fashioned Vantage Masters. Allow me this duel. Oh, seems like she's got a burn deck. Huh. All right. Uh, we'll change out the blicks. Nothing but sense. Her uh, secret move is just to uh, pour soup all over the uh, all over the field when she's losing. <laughs> uh, um. Interesting. Let's at least get the trade off here, I think. As, uh. Not very good as that was. <laughs> That's, uh. Rather impressive. I don't. I don't know how you managed to burn soup, honestly. Seems like a talent I'm not keen on having. <laughs> Alright. What? No, I want it to move up. God damn it. Um, let's just get rid of that guy. <laughs> That's kind of wild, like, oh uh, yeah, we just, uh, burned off all of the soup. Whoops. <laughs> uh, three damage. Okay, cool, I can finish it off. <laughs> I admit defeat. And there we go. And we received the Amel Thomas cards for our victory. Which are... Heaven Needles? Yeah. So, six mana, three sixes with uh, range and haste. And if they're in the front row, they become five sixes. That seems like a, actually a pretty good boss card. <laughs> Although my uh, strategy of just buffing my knight and then uh, hitting with burn spells seems to be working pretty effectively. <laughs> No, I can't deny how uh, useful haste and range would be. Eh. Yeah. I'm gonna save here. All right then. Let's uh, let's go straight to the island now. We've uh, done everything we need to, so now we can just deal with all the fun stuff. find out what lies in wait for us on Monkey Island. <laughs> uh, the ranged ability in Vantage Masters basically means you can attack from the back row rather than having to move to the front to hit something. Uh, it ends up being pretty useful because you're attacking from distance naturally.
It's why I'm using those uh, fire archers in my main deck. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were, like, playing Super Robot Wars or something. <laughs> this is, like, Sixth Angel. Are you playing an Evangelion or something, or what? <laughs> well, apparently she didn't ask this guy for a vote. But maybe she just uh, flew on Clown Soleil all the way over to Byronia Island. Because that's what Million would do. Ah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, it's this jerk. What do you know, he just happens to be here exactly when we need a boat. It's almost like this was all fortuitously timed or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite Magic the Gathering's reach or anything, it's just, uh... Because there are actual rows in this game, the being able to attack from a different one is a different ability entirely. <laughs> this guy's supposed to be a teacher? You sure ain't dressed like one. <laughs> um, not too, too many this time around. <laughs> maybe, maybe ten. <laughs> yeah. Man, Giant Spider, what a classic, right? Vanilla 2 fours with Reach. Those are... that's the dream. <laughs> I kind of want to play Magic, but... It, it has been many years, and, uh... Kind of just seems unfun right now. Apparently all I hear about is this Oko guy. And uh, how every artifact and creature in the game is currently a 3-3 elk. It doesn't matter what they actually are. They're a 3-3 elk now. And apparently uh, Mr. Lumen here was telling Milliam all about the history of the island. <laughs> Fourth edition was new. What, that would put it around 2001? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of surprising how long it's uh, lasted. I mean, about as old as I am. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a year older than I am. It is. It is a long-lasting game, that's for sure. In any case, uh, this guy's giving us a map of the island. And his boat. So, you know. We might as well uh, take him up on this. Oh god, I'm 27. I know, just saying it out loud makes me... Ugh. I am... Uh, yep. I'm older than Instructor Sarah. <laughs> no, it just feels that old. And if you haven't completed your quest and sub-events, uh, all those things will disappear. But we're good. We've made a save. So let's, uh, hop on over to the island.
naturally, Yuna's gonna drive the boat. Is what she does best. <laughs> That's true. I like big boats Looks like I cannot class lie. has some new faces. Oh. Looks like Azure Siegfried's still following us around. But this will probably be the end of them. They're going to die on that monkey island. It's foolish of them to go to that island. <laughs> uh. The eastern winds are blowing. No, he doesn't seem to think very highly of them at all. But he uh, does seem to appreciate the wind. I wonder, I wonder if that could be foreshadowing, perhaps. I think I'm almost at the end of 4.5. I just need to write one last scene. And I should be good. Oh, oh god, don't talk to me about these weird frickin' football games. Oh my god, how do we blow a 20 to nothing lead? Ugh. I think when we threw that interception in that second half, I was like... Or, at the end of the second quarter, I was like, oh, yeah, now we're gonna lose this game. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have ex expectations anyway. It's fine. <laughs> we weren't supposed to win that game anyway. <laughs> anyway, seems like we don't have to worry about Milliam drowning on the way back or anything. She should be fine. I was a bit too, but we actually had some creative offense going on for the first half. And then we proceeded to make exactly zero adjustments for the second half and we got destroyed. Yeah, I, I just didn't think Houston matched up well against them. And it showed, clearly. Baltimore has a very aggressive pass rushing defense. And Houston can't pass block to save their lives. You need to have a very gimmicky strategy to deal with Lamar Jackson. And so far, the only team I think that's actually uh, effectively did that was the Chargers last year. And that was back when Lamar Jackson was still figuring out how to pass in the NFL. I think he's got that pretty well under control now. <laughs> And of course, Reen's telling everyone about the Black Workshop here. Only one person knows of the Black Workshop. The Chancellor himself. <laughs> He's something all right. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not easy. Like even the Patriots who were effectively playing great defense, they just don't have a good answer for Lamar Jackson. They had great gap discipline. They were, you know, in the right zones and Lamar just made them look like fools. <laughs> That's also true. Speaking of the Patriots, man, their offense is looking really weak right now. Can't help but wonder if they're just going to pick it up for the postseason. I mean... They still got the best defense in the league. <laughs> so, even if they only score 20 points a game, they'll probably probably be fine. 
<laughs> Nothing steamy yet. That she's uh, being very evasive about talking about. <laughs> In any case, that nice little boat ride is over, and we have arrived at Monkey Island. Sorry, Byroni Island. <laughs> Yeah, there's a nice little, uh, nice little shack to rest up in. I suppose it's not really a shack, though. It looks actually really well maintained for a place on an island people only occasionally visit. <laughs> So it looks like we've got a few places worth checking out. The altar, the inn, and the statue of the guardian itself. And it'll take a couple of hours to make a full exploration of this area. According to Reen, anyway. <laughs> Didn't think I'd end up searching some deserted island today. Never a dull moment with Class 7. <laughs> Damn straight. In any case, before uh, heading out, there's a fishing spot right here, so we're gonna do some fishing. Hey, look! There, uh, there. I got one. <laughs> nice. Ooh, this looks good. Give us this fish. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Well, there's a forest gill here. Gives us a bunch of wind sepit. And there's also a couple more treasure chest or fishing spots in the area, so we'll uh, we'll get those ones later. For the time being, though, let's go check the inn here. Looks like this is out of range for the Arcus in most places, so luckily we've got a horrible communication repeater to set up here. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind spending a day or two in this kind of place. Probably not much longer than that, because I get bored really easily, but, uh... Yeah, like, you could go fishing, look at all the ancient, uh, artifacts and sites, I mean... There's, there's a lot to see here. Definitely be good for a day or two, and then you head back to Ordis for the real fun. <laughs> Like, all things considered, Lemaire Province is a very, very beautiful place. Huh? What's all that stuff to the left? Looks like a ruin of sorts. <laughs> Needless to say, it wouldn't be a very quiet retreat. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, continue exploring this big honkin' island, because... There's a lot of, a lot of places here, and uh, 
you might be noticing a bit of slowdown. That is not your stream, that is actually the game hiccuping. Apparently it doesn't like this area very much. And we got a mega station here as well. Nothing here I can make at the time, so don't even worry about it. Let's check out the altar. <laughs> it seems like somebody's left an, an offering here. So, I mean, somebody's been here recently. It's a good sign, at least. Though, that's not a good sign. Apparently, both Reen and Altina reacted to that. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a bit worrying. We'll still need to keep an eye out for other things in this area, though. And this area is pretty big, so... There's going to be a lot of things we need to keep an eye out for. Deer from oh. behind. What? Weak. That's a load of crap, and you know it, game. Nope. I got this. You're mine. Strength depleted. I'm sorry. Here I go! Yeah, like I said, that's a load of crap and you know it, game. Uh, take this! I'm going! Arcus, activate! Thank you. I'm going! Azure wings, shoot! Oh, more guests? Here I go! You can't escape! Fire! I got this. You're mine! Yeah, game really hates this area for some it's reason. It's my turn. Ha! My turn. Charging. <clears throat> I'll save you. <laughs> Thanks. It's my turn. Work, everyone. Just look at that waterfall. Oh, it's so clear and beautiful, and oh, it's bliss. They remind me of winters with my master. It was so cold, I thought I'd freeze to death. <laughs> but that does seem like an excellent method for training both body and mind. Are they stupid or something? <laughs> A tough one. How's this? What a passionate foe. Oh dear. Huh? All right. Huh? Take this. Wide open. I'll assist. I got this. Break through! Sledgehammer! I got this. You're mine! Do it! There! It's my turn. Arcus, activate! Now. Arcus, activate. Oh well. Break through! Sledgehammer! 
my turn. You're mine! It's down! Keep it up! This is it! You're amazing, Ash. You just realized that now? All right, got it! <laughs> the monsters here put up a pretty decent fight. The island seems to be flourishing under a unique ecosystem. <laughs> uh... Anyway, there's a little thingy here. But uh, we can't do anything about that right now, so we'll just have to leave that be. In the meantime... There's a few more treasure chests in the area. Like this one on the cliff here. It's a tier all bomb, which is pretty good. We're going to need to replenish a few of those after that Wallace fight, which took forever. Ha! Now's our chance! Huh? I got this. There we go. Hey, you! Rest in peace! All right! You can't escape! Fire! Our chance! Let's go, Allie! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> it's my turn! Break through! Sledgehammer! Yes! Azure wings, shoot! Now! Rionac, activate! Fire! There! It's mine! Yes! Arcus, activate! It's my turn! Support you. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. Josh! Got no time to waste. Nice thing is they're giving me a lot of Master Quartz experience as well, so I can use that for good rather than evil. <laughs> ah, treasure chest. Inside here is uh, Panzer goggles. Hmm. I can see a lot of fish here. And another fishing spot. Let's make good uh, use of that. There! I got one? Oops. What? Oh, man. Let me try that again. There! <laughs> I got one? I got a good one! Check it out! Behold the gold salmon. Gives you a nice chunk of space up as well. Really useful for the uh there. Yeah! for what's coming ahead here. Um, yeah, we're gonna wanna push towards the north here. And uh, head for the event over this way here. It's the sea! <laughs> Private beach created by Mother Nature. <laughs> Dang it, I've been kicking myself over it since we were on the coastal road, but now I really wish I brought my swimsuit. <laughs> Oh. I'm surprised those footprints are still intact.
Hmm. Apparently there's, uh, some sort of noise at work here that's, uh, messing with Milliam. Seems to be some kind of homunculus trap, for some reason. In any case, let's be careful. We don't want Altina to get captured either. And there's one more fishing spot over here. Come on. Get over here. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's another blue marlin. Dropping action three quarts like crazy. In any case, uh... I think I just have four fish left to get. I really should have Ash try his hand at fishing at some point. But yeah, just, uh... Last four fish on the... On the sheet to go, and then I will have them all. Him. My turn. Let's go. Raging fire formation. Let's go. Second form. Gale. It's down. It's mine. This is it. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> Done already. All right. There's a uh, photography spot somewhere around here. We want to pick that up for. Uh, uh, Let's not? get him. Guess we're gonna deal with this, these monsters first. Don't like this area here. It's my turn. Ah! <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I grew a little. All right. So, let's get this uh, photography spot here. <laughs> ah, what I wouldn't give to take a dip right now. You could always swim in your underwear. I wouldn't peek. <laughs> Sorry, there's only one person who can see me in my underwear, and it ain't you, Ash. <laughs> yeah! I should find some more things to break. This guy. Second form, Gale! Now! Yuna, now! Yes! Huh. Yes! It's my turn! Ah, take this! Wide open! An opening! Work, 
work, everyone. Looks like a real tough... This one's strong! Be careful! Let's go! Evan Crest! Unfortunately, these jerks are going first, so I need to play this a little Arcus defensively. Because they probably faint on hit. Let's go! Divine Song, it is just absurd. Okay, the Virgo Quartz is at level 6 now, so we get Athlas normally, which means I can take that off and use A finally. More chance to deal critical, recover more HP through offensive er, recover more EP through offensive arts? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I assume it's EP, but, you know. Yeah, I did it! Stats updated. Hard to tell when it's translated like that, that's for sure. I must train even more. And Altina's learned a new craft to uh, make her even more useful at uh, staying alive through tough situations. Find that, uh... Oh, a treasure there. chest! Make sure to pick up the, uh, quartz, uh, Master Quartz here, the Minotauros Quartz. You can take a quick look at what it does. It's, uh, basically the Taurus Quartz from the, uh, previous games. Increases your damage by 100%, and, uh, delay is increased as you do it. Also improves your break damage and your critical rate up. It's really useful if you've got a character who is, uh basically S-Craft dominating the entire field. Otherwise, the delay is a very steep cost, and I'm not actually a big fan of it in this game, but it has its There's uses. There's even a cave here. Oh, hold me, Instructor! I'm so afraid. <laughs> Knock it off. Muse, please. <laughs> oh, Muse. <laughs> Locked and loaded! Ooh, a treasure chest! Anyway, there's a copy of the Black Records hiding in here. So let's, uh, send these things to Vivi and Rosine right away. So, Breen? Now, let's... Oh, well, I'll send you your reward. Hello there, Reen. You found some new records? Very well. Leave it to me. Okay. Now we actually want to explore that cave a little bit later. There is another event we need to hit on first before uh, doing a deeper exploration of the island. We need to go find that guardian statue. That's where million has been headed, so... Hopefully we find something good here. Let's go! Second form, damn! Now! It's mine! It's my turn! Azure wings, shoot! Now's our chance! It's mine! I got this. 
Let's go! Raging fire formation! I got this. You're mine! Yeah! Keep it up! Here I go! You can't escape! Fire! Wide open! Get him, instructor! Leave it to me! Yes! Yeah! It's my turn! Azure wings, shoot! Let's go! It's mine! Let's go! Crimson Slash! Sure. You're mine! <laughs> I'm going! Yeah! Now's our chance! It's mine! All right! Uh, take this! Let's go! Crimson Slash! Whew. Everyone okay? That was a lot of experience for that kind of fight. <laughs> well, I mean, I won't say no to experience at the very Ocean least. Ocean as far as the eye can see. We made it all the way to the other side. Did Milliam come by this way? Knows we'll just have to find out, instructor. Yeah! Did Milliam come this way, or is this just uh, a waste of our time? <laughs> anyway, behold the guardian of Barony Island. Looks a hell of a lot like the one from Nor, doesn't it? Look, there's a big ass ladder right there. How convenient. <laughs> and they say chivalry is dead. Don't worry, ladies. Rich voice here's got your back. <laughs> N no, I. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, Schwarzer, let's just get to climbing already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm a damn peach. <laughs> there! Ah! They're all just a bunch of lovable dorks, aren't they? I'll go up ahead. I will let you know if I see anything particularly dangerous on the way. Anyway. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Thank God for the climb fast button. I got. You're say. halfway up. Careful. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Anyway, halfway up, there's the treasure chest here, the star garment. Uh, anyone to use gives a slight buff to strength, arts, and speed. So, yeah, we'll just throw that on Ash. Why not? Why not? Climb up to the very end here. Apparently there's no spiritual power coming from this at all. You buy into all this occult shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Celine the talking cat, for example. Oh god, no, I'm having a heart attack. Anyway, getting some uh, cryptic flashbacks there. And, uh, apparently time's frozen. Hmm, another resonance. <laughs> A pleasure to see you once more, Reen Schwarzer. It's Roselia. What's she doing here? You have resonated with the memory of this place. It would appear you are highly compatible with these memories. This is what allowed you to see Dreykel's memories in the spirit shrines during the Civil War. I would like to say I know all there is to know about you. A stalker. However, that would be a lie. I was told I did not use magic to pry. <laughs> but know that I could easily have done that if I so chose. Farsight and astral projection are not Vita's exclusive domain. Okay, so she's a witch of some caliber. Likely the uh, chief oh my, witch of did the I say that out loud? <laughs> In any event, be sure you memorize every detail of this vision. In regard to the one you are searching for, the object that has been placed in your charge should prove useful just up ahead. And she knows we're looking for Milliam, and hopefully this emblem is uh, the key to <laughs> we will finding our again. way out. But before I go, I think I shall help myself to a bit. For the rope. Uh, excuse you. I'll not wait. <laughs> Damn. She just, uh... Claims what she wants, that's for sure. And looks like her footprints are still fresh, somehow. So let's uh, let's keep searching. Maybe we'll maybe we'll find something. And no, you can't just jump off, because you would die, and that would be extremely not good. See, I'm trying. Trying real hard, but I can't do it. <laughs> mm. Oh, fucking hell. So there's a thing I need to inspect on the top there. I was like, why the hell is my exclamation point up there? There's a reason for that. I climbed down all that way for nothing. God damn it. I'm still in a dream. Okay. So you want to take a look at this neat little thing hiding in the uh, hiding in the rock here. Of course, we need to instead of just like interacting with this, we need to go L2 triangle. And then we can interact with it.
<laughs> Are you saying this occult bullshit isn't bullshit? <laughs> nah, dude. It's totally bullshit. So yeah, we need to go around the island and activate these things. We saw at least one of them behind the waterfall, but there's quite a few in the area. <laughs> And of course, Muse is noticing this uh, sudden bug bite on her neck. <laughs> Except that's not a bug bite. No bug leaves a mark like that. He was probably having a little fun with those lovely ladies last night. <laughs> you mean Instructor Claire and Sarah? How could you? <laughs> First of all, no. Second, how would a scent like that linger for this long? Instructor, trying to deny it will only make you look more suspicious. Seriously, this is all a misunderstanding. <laughs> of course, the entirety of Class 7 has given him the side eye. Uh... Alright, so once again, we gotta get down to the bottom of this canyon. I just wish it would let me drop, but it won't. That would be uh, too cost effective. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you're uh, feeling tired, yeah. always a good Everyone idea to get ready? some rest. I'm gonna try to finish the events in this area you're before calling in an episode. Yeah. Keep it up! It's my turn! <laughs> well, alright, get some rest. Go wild! Crazy hunt! And, uh. It's I'll my see turn. you later, but, uh. You'll probably be hearing me for quite Azure some time. Wings, shoot. Keep you awake Let's with go. my lovely and dulcet voice. I'm up! <laughs> Shit! It's my turn! Wide open! An opening! Yes! Yeah! I'm up! Sit! Now! It's mine! <laughs> we did it, Instructor! Yeah, that was perfect! See how cute they are together now. Locked and loaded! Anyway, I'm gonna give Muse a little bit of a break and put Kurt back into the party for a little while. Yeah! Ah! We'll end this quick! Go wild! Crazy hunt! Second form, down! Sure. You're mine! Oh. Lame. Very well. Behold the Vander style. <laughs> anyway, we've got a massive swath of area to deal with here, so. Stay on your toes. And try not to run into random encounters. There's a whole lot of them in the area. It's powerful. We must take yeah. care. T yeah, this shit. Yep, well, that was happening whether I wanted that to or not. Can't get all of them at once. Fine. Very well. Break through! Sledgehammer! Very well. 
Ah, strike! It's down. Oh my God, Kurt it's missed mine. again. Let's go. Jesus Christ. This is why I keep Super him on the form. bench. Down. It's down. It's mine. An opening. It's down. It's mine. Here I go. You can't escape. Fire! Our chance! An opening! Let's go. Ah! Uh, strike! It's down. It's mine! Sure. Strike! Windblade formation! I got this. You're mine! It's down! Too slow! I'm up! Get back! It's down! It's mine! I got this. You're mine! Yeah! Let's go, Bender! Leave it to me! Yeah. Huh. Those swords of yours ain't just for show, huh? Your weapon is impressive, too. I could be a little friendlier than that, guys. <laughs> uh, hey, break damage up. Health recovery when low. And automatic health regen now. Alright, got it! So, it's uh, pretty good, all things considered. Anyway, grab this treasure chest that's been eluding us. 100 of each Sepith. Come in handy for later, that's for sure. Because even though we've got everyone's orbits unlocked at this stage, that enemy's strong. we still uh, have a long way to go before uh, the end of the game here. We've got a bunch of other characters as well, so... You know. Then there's the ability to actually sell the Sabbath for uh, extra Mira. So, you know, get as much money as we can possibly get. <laughs> anyway, keep our eyes open for other crests to activate on this island. We know there's at least one more, but... Uh, there's one more on the parts of the island we haven't explored yet, so... We'll need to be, uh, extra cautious as we go through there. And yeah, I'm just trying to avoid pointless fights. Because I've seen most of the monsters in the area. No real reason to fight anything that's, uh, not directly in our way. Like that. Quite hit all. Second form. Damn. Let's go. Uh, there. It's down. It's mine. It's my turn. You can't escape. Fire. Wide open. Get him, instructor. Got it. Sure. Can't quite get all of them. Uh. You're mine! Yeah! Too slow! All right! You can't escape! Fire! Wide open! An opening! I'm up! Very well. Ha! Behold the Vander style. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I grew a little. Anyway, there's a little spot up here we can check out. 
Apparently there was an ancient village here. <laughs> Apparently it's been abandoned for a thousand, nearly a thousand years. Well, let's uh, take a peek inside, see if we see anything interesting. Maybe nothing too, too interesting in the village itself, but there's a little exclamation point uh, on the ladder above us. I keep trying to hit these things, but I can't do that. <laughs> and yeah, we still got more of these things to find, so... Gotta keep our eyes open. They could be literally anywhere. I'm, uh, I'm joshing, of course, there is... There's only one more left to get, and we know exactly where it is. There's just a few treasures and stuff that we need to pick up before we, uh, do so. Again, avoiding just random fights. Because there's no reason to fight them. There's a treasure chest on this little, uh, outcropping here. Tough one. The Epoch Bell, which is like a mega time quartz, I think. Yeah. Basically, an upcharged version of the uh, Black Bell. We're gonna put that on Altina right away here. And now. Our time spells are, like, super, super buff. <laughs> Should have a high chance of critical arts. Really significantly reduced delay. You know, all those, all those nice things. But, uh, yeah. That's enough of that for now. We strike! I like you, but your traps never get where we want them to be. I'm up. Second form, down. Now, Yuna. Now. Yes. Sit. Ah. My turn. Ah, strike. It's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at that. We got the bridge reports up to level 6. Which uh, gives Reen his last art, Flare Butterfly. 18 per kill, 4 CP per turn. I must train even more. Really, really living it up now. <laughs> uh. Anyway, we can break this boulder from this side here. back to the original area now. And this should, uh, activate whatever the hell we need to activate. <laughs> whatever it was, sounded like it came from the altar. So let's walk over that direction there, see what we find. Hopefully we're, uh, we'll be able to find Millie soon after this. I'm sure she's, uh, tired of us waiting. Tired of waiting for us after, you know, doing this whole point-and-click adventure. This really is Monkey Island. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, we want to take this path over here, just because we haven't taken it yet. And it gets us the last treasure in our area here. It's powerful. Cows, watch out! This is a tough one! Right, naturally. You're mine! It's down! Too slow! We need to deal with a bit of chaff first. All right! An opening! I'm up! Break through! Sledgehammer! I'm up! Second form? Damn! My turn! Ah! Strike! There! It's mine! Here I go! You can't escape! Wide open! Everyone ready? Got it! Yeah. Leave it to me! Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You're mine! Yeah! Too slow! Let's go! Uh, strike! There! It's mine! Teamwork Those swords of yours work. ain't just for show, huh? Your weapon is impressive, too. And got the Gloom Quartz up to level 5. So, higher chance of inflicting abnormalities. And I get to begin the battle with Stealth, which is actually not what I want on Yuna, considering she's a dodge tank. Yeah, I did it! Stats updated. Good thing it's only in her sub position, so I don't actually start with the Stealth. But, uh... If I made that someone's main quartz, they would uh, have a turn of stealth. We also got a cosmetic item for Ash here. Let's uh, let's give him some blue hair, shall we? That doesn't look uh, blue at all. That looks like white. Eh, whatever. I actually think the uh, white hair kind of works for him. There's a ladder over here. We can flick it over. Yeah. And now we're back at the back at the beginning again. It was a nice little uh nice little roundabout, wouldn't you say? Uh before we go inside. Ah no. There's a recovery item right here. Don't even worry about it. So behold! It's a spirit shrine. <laughs> the altar seems to have transformed into something else entirely. Since these things were apparently built by the gnomes, it only makes sense that they'd be appearing now when everything's acting all wonky in the Empire. Looks like we found something that belongs to Milliam. <laughs> well, if that ain't evidence, I don't know what is. Uh, not only not only her pouch, but uh, her student notebook as well. If that isn't bait, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh man, Reen's angry. As of now, we're in a state of emergency. You guys will stand by at the inn and contact our allies. Excuse you? Hey, hold the hell up. Do you really intend on going alone? Um... I'm sorry, but this is bigger than before. Reen, no. Beyond this point is whatever's keeping Milliam from coming back. That's why I can't bring you along. You have to be joking! That's all the more reason for us to go with you! How dare you call yourself our instructor if you refuse to let us help you at a time like this! Thank you, Yuna. I... I can't speak to last night, but right now you're being irrational. 
<laughs> you of all people should know the dangers of venturing into unknown territory all alone. That power of yours is meant to be a last resort. You can only use it so much. And wouldn't having a support team increase your chances of rescuing her? You have a point, but... Rain, shut Despite the, hell up. the fact that Milliam insists she is my big sister, I do not think of her as one. But still, I cannot turn my back. Not on you, nor on that strange carefree girl who's more like me than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Ali. Indeed. Look, you don't gotta tell us to get ready for battle. But it's your call whether we go or not. If you're gonna keep us out of this, just spit it out already. <laughs> Damn it, Reen. <sighs> They're right. I let my emotions get the best of me. As you usually do. I still have a long way to go. As an instructor and as a person. Alright. I rescind my orders. All members get ready to fight. Once we contact camp and summon Valimar, we're moving out. We're really going? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, let's get ready! Hello, Reen? Toa, I need you to get a message out ASAP. Alright. <laughs> so, here we come for the uh, big boss of uh, this area here. And naturally, we'll need the he help of our handy friend, Valimar. I'm just gonna fly him straight over Ordis here. <laughs> That's the guy everyone's talking about. <laughs> He's just passing through. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Nothing bad's gonna happen in Ordis today. <laughs> I apologize for the wait, Reen and the students of Class 7. Uh. Alright, Pats fans, see you in a bit. I'm just gonna hit the Orphan Charging Station Recover here first. Yeah! And then I'll be charging directly into battle here. Because we've got, uh, a few more annoying fights to take care of. Also, we can talk to Valmar. Let's let's talk to Valmar. <laughs> Of course, Valmar can't sense them because the spirit veins are all woo. -woo. But whatever. Welcome to the Soul Shrine, like the uh, Greek Soul for Sun. Despite being a shrine to the Sun, it's uh, deep underground. <laughs> And this place has the same kind of vibe to it as the Tower and Crossbell. <laughs> well, this seems like the perfect place to gather uh, spirit energy, so... It's highly likely that Ouroboros is trying the same thing again. While they've got Jaegers running uh, decoy operations, they're uh, 
taking care of their own business. Oh good, that's not terrifying. Uh... What? What? I, uh... I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but... I remember the original line was something about, so he can sense the wind too, just like the, uh, just like Arios can. I don't sense any monsters here. The rest of the way should be safe. But why are there hidden ruins Locked here? and loaded! There's likely something more to them, but we must be on our way. Yeah, I'm getting chills the farther down we go. The mana is growing more dense. Hadios knows what could be down here. Let's make a save first. Oops. There we go. Alright then. Let's see what lies in wait for us here. Yeah, that's that's another eye on alright. Uh, hold on. That's I knew it. And this one in particular was the one that uh, took out Corellia Fortress. Not only that, Milliam and Clown Slayer here those too. Those are the women we saw in Sutherland, the Stall Ritter. Milliam. Huh? Oh dear. Tilly, Reen, Class Seven. Seems like they weren't expecting guests. What the? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm glad you're safe, Milliam. You know you nearly gave Eusis a heart attack, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I hope that heart attack didn't interrupt his conference. <laughs> Wait, are you saying Eusis told you to come save me? He yeah, did, he did, but he wouldn't have had to if you hadn't been so careless. Well, true. But at least she's okay, right? Sure, aside from the net and the giant nightmare behind her. <laughs> <laughs> So you actually found this place? Hmm. I see reaching us was within their power. Is that thing your new experimental ion? That's right. And it's totally different from the last two. It's cooler. It's got a big chest piece to it. It's got big legs. It's really cool, guys. Meet the ion type Alpha 2. It's the upgraded version of the one that made Gorelia Fortress vanish. <laughs> Even if it's not quite as strong. But still, it should be more than enough to smash your divine knight. I guess they've been gathering mana in this place. But as soon as I tailed them back here, they snagged me. Because you weren't careful enough. This is just like the purple ion in Crossbell. We need to stop them, but they've got a hostage. They're not going to hurt her, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I've only faced Duvali before, but I'm sure the rest of them share her pride. They'd never do something as low as hurting a hostage. It would be a betrayal of everything their lord stands for. <laughs> what? What are you? How dare you claim to know our lord? <laughs> he certainly is an interesting one. <laughs> He's making my heart go pitter pat. Oh God. Ida, no. I mean, Anea, no. I can't blame Duvali for falling for him. I didn't fall for him! <laughs> oh, God. In fact, he dies here. We'll show you the true power of the Stall Ritter. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Show us a good time, Ashen Chevalier. No, I'm sure we will. <laughs> that axe is even bigger than mine. And there's something strange about that bow. Yeah, but we can't let that stop us. That's right. Let's show them everything we've learned in the past three months. I will not back down. The two of us are sisters after all. Technically. <laughs> Aw, Altina. Aw, Tilly. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Class 7 Special Operations, commence suppression of enemy targets. Yeah! yeah! Very well. 
We, who serve the seventh anguish of Ouroboros. We three knights of the Stallridder stand before you. Prepare yourselves for battle! All right. Ines, Anea, let's go! Understood. <laughs> Leave it to me! <laughs> nope. <laughs> Our chance! An opening! I'll care for you. Thank you. Here I go! Alright. Take that! Our chance! An opening! I'm going! Azure wings, shoot! Take that! <laughs> Nope. Wide open! An opening! There! Axel Arrow! Oh, lame. Shatter! Nope. <laughs> Wide open! Everyone ready? Leave it yes. to me! Leave it to me! Shoot! <laughs> The true battle begins now! I shall go. Grianak, activate! Fire! <laughs> now! Keep it yes. up! I'm up! Break through! Sledgehammer! Alright then. I'm up! Second form? Damn! How dare you! <laughs> now! It's mine! I shall go. Please don't. Uh, apparently I can only hit one of them this time, yeah. so... Dubly. My blade, calm as still water. Now! <gasps> Flash! Fallen leaves! Well, they're still standing. Very well, but this is not yet over. Here I go! You can't escape! Fire! <gasps> now! Rionac, activate! Fire! <gasps> now! Keep it up! Oh! It's my turn. Let's go, Evan Crest. I'm going. Azure wings, shoot! <laughs> Now's our chance. I'll assist. <laughs> Not bad. All right. I've had it. Two on four Gaze now. Gaze into the evil eye. I'm going. I might have uh, triggered that a bit too soon. Oops, Azure Daisy. wings, shoot! <gasps> Here I go! Uh, can't hit both of them. So, just gonna keep Gemini you blasting, I guess. Fire! Here I go! I'll help!
I shall go. Breakthrough! Sledgehammer! My turn. Activate Fragorok. Destroy! <laughs> now, transform! Sync complete. Go, Arcadius Gear! Ready, Go, launch! Tina. Kick their asses. Brianna, open fire! Exterminating target! Huh? Still alive. Not in my watch! Take that! Yes! <coughs> Let's go! No, oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, I can't hit both of them, so... Crimson Slash! Ow! Impossible! I'm going! Let's just make this four-on-one, I guess. Yuna's way too huh? far out there, so. There. I'll support you. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Yes. Huh? There. Okay. Yeah. I'm going. Apparently, that's uh, too far away for uh, Azure Yuna wings. to counter. Shoot! That's a shame. I'm up! Crimson Slash! <laughs> yes! Huh? All right! Huh? I'm up! Get back! No! Now. <gasps> there. Keep it up. <gasps> there. <gasps> I let my guard down. And there we go. Star Rider I'll defeated. You. <laughs> Thanks for the help. That fight wasn't too too bad. But naturally that's not the end of it. Sure got a lot of nice uh Experience for that though. Diva Quartz is at level 6. We've got the Chrono Burst spell. Higher chance to evade spells, higher critical chance. Sirius is at level 6. So we get the best wind spell. Evasion of counterattacks is at 550%. More evasion. It's great. Cross Crusade, better healing, better item range. Glider's up to level 5, too. And a new... new crap for Ash. So, all in all, pretty good... pretty good experience from that fight. Not bad. <laughs> I'd expected as much from the Ashen Chevalier, but the Hatchlings truly impressed. And not just Black Rabbit and the Vander. They all have such potential. Y'all need to stop sleeping on Yuna. I swear. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they're as strong as I'd imagined. Still, they're not unbeatable. <laughs> so we push straight through, huh? Yep. Get too cocky. We were merely testing you until now. Hell? They still have power in reserve? Yes, we've hardly scratched the surface of their true strength. Stay on your guard, everyone! No. A, a combat link? No, this is different! Be careful! This is how they caught me! <laughs> it's been a while since we've performed the Radiant Star Formation for such a big audience. 
There's a reason we Stalritter are considered the strongest in Ouroboros. <laughs> and you're about to feel it firsthand. There's no need for that. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. It's not happening to us. It's not happening to us. <laughs> it's happening to our opponents. What a rare and unexpected <sighs> twist. Although, uh... Who is that? We're dealing with a real problem now. That armor. That helmet. My lord! This is our first proper introduction. You've returned. To the s real strongest of Ouroboros. I is that... One of Ouroboros' seven anguists. Say hello to Arinrod, the Steel Maiden. I am the seventh pillar of Ouroboros. Arianrod, the Steel Maiden. Students of Thor's, you who would carry on the will of the Lionheart Emperor. <laughs> what is this? Her presence alone is so powerful. It's as if each word she speaks is weighing down on us. Heed my call! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Damn, huh? he isn't even kidding around. He's now? just like... Yeah. Acknowledged. You're gonna need an Ashen... You're gonna need the Divine Can't Knight Can't take any chances! Thing. Not with her! Class 7, take Milliam and get out of here! A wise decision. But your timing was poor. Looks like we're Damn gonna have a an ion versus what? ion fight after all. Oh. T teleportation? <laughs> Felimar! <laughs> How fortunate we are. Now, I've been meaning to test you for some time. Looks like we don't get to have an our an I win button for this fight. Show me go. what your eight leaves one blade school is capable of, Ashen Awakener. Is this truly happening? <laughs> this can't be real. Yuna, hold on to this for me. But, Instructor... <laughs> Without that, you won't be able to... I've always wanted to test my sword against a legend. <laughs> Reen! Instructor! Damn it. This is just like he was during the Civil War. I am Reen Schwarzer, intermediate level disciple of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. I shall dedicate my body and my soul to challenging you. Laudable words. Let's see if you have the skill to match. Come, Ashen Awakener. That's right, it's time for another duel. We need to reduce her health to 70%. <laughs> It's my turn! Luckily for us, we have access to all of our orders for this fight. Um, not sure what the best strategy here will be, but... Form up! Iron Will Formation! I'll play it defensive. I'm up! See what I can do from here. Arcane! <laughs> Gale! <laughs> Take this! You're finished! Oh. Of course. Ready yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm up. You got it. Arcane. <laughs> Gale. <laughs> to me, mighty star. It's my turn. Of course. Uh, apparently, she's faster than me, so I can't get any of these off. Cool. Get back! <laughs> Take <laughs> Thunder of the Roiling Heavens! Fall to the battlefield! Let's go! I gotta have something. I gotta have something like powerful here, don't I? Literally anything.
Yeah! I can keep going! It's my turn! Get back! Uh. Take! I'm up! Form up! Iron Will Formation! I'm up! Crimson Slash! Thunder of the Roy- Let's go! Crimson Slash! Ready yourself! I can't lose! My blade, calm as still water. Now! There we go. Just need to get an S craft off the right time, and uh, we survived. <laughs> right, that's as far as we can go. Instructor Reen! Uh, is he. What's going on? Is he losing control? Fool. Such is the price of standing against our lord as a mere human. If he truly becomes a beast, we'll have no choice but to put him down. <laughs> now, what will you do? Will you become a demon? Will you run? Or will you accept your defeat? <laughs> as long as I can give Milliam and the students a chance to escape, it doesn't matter what happens to me. No! no! <laughs> Wait, you can't! Just shut up, damn it! That's enough out of you! Quit trying to act all tough! <laughs> if I didn't intervene, I would be bringing shame upon the Vander name. If you got any sexier right now, there's no telling what I'd do. Jesus Christ, Muse. <laughs> Let us protect you, Instructor. <sighs> Admirable, but naive. Allow me to give you a taste of reality. <laughs> That's enough! Oh? <laughs> a hawk? <laughs> Luckily for us, we're not completely out of the lurch yet. We got... We got Gaius! <laughs> He looks like he's from... Nord. The last Nord. member of the original Class 7. Gaius Warzel, here to save the day. I've missed you, Reen. Milliam, what have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> Gaius, it's really you! Oh, Gaius. <laughs> Just in time, too. Alright, I'm getting sick of this! <laughs> Jeez, Milliam, why couldn't you have done that in the first place? Milliam! <laughs> She's free! Whew. Sorry about that. That was tougher than it looked. <laughs> <laughs> Such power. We underestimated the Ironblood's White Rabbit. Not to mention this Nord, Gaius Warzel of the original Class 7. There's something about him. He has a presence, despite his youth and demeanor. <laughs> it's unlike that of the Ashen Awakener, but it's hardly that of a normal human. Yeah, Gaius has been doing some uh, hardcore training these past two years, let's just say that. Well, I'm nothing compared to you, right? But I should be just strong enough to ensure their escape. <laughs> so be it. Such power. We have enough mana. The stage is set. Young horned lions. And agent of the gnomes. Oh, hello, Crow. You're here too. Tonight, at least, you may rest at ease. 
<laughs> Apparently their work here is done, so they're just gonna peace out. It would be rather gauche of them not to. <laughs> I'm back in control. Somehow. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> you never stop pushing yourself, do you? Instructor, that was way too reckless. Listen to your wife, Reen. I'm sorry, but you'll have to save the scolding for later. Come on out, Azure Siegfried! Uh, so this is the agent of the gnomes. Naturally. What a headache. Here he is, huh? just chilling out the whole time. It couldn't be. Hi, Crow. Huh. Guess the maiden knew I was here all along. I've got some training to do, and so do you guys. Well, after what we just went through, I'm not about to argue. But it seems you're standing against Ouroboros after all. What exactly are you trying to get from this island? Or from the battle in the canyon? And above all, why are you wearing that mask? Huh. Same reason the Maiden's wearing hers. But that's the only question I'm going to answer. So long. W wait Class 7 old and new. You're good. But you're still not good enough. From here on out, you'll be facing dead men and beings of legend. But as you are now, you'd be better off sitting on the sidelines sucking your thumbs. Damn. Crow does not mince words, does he? <laughs> I didn't just dream that, did I? And the rest of Class 7's like, who's this nutburger? Oh, you know, Crow. He was in our class for all of two months, and he, uh... He tried to kill Osborne, and he failed. But with our uh, business taken care of, Milliam freed, Gaius on our side, we can consider this a victory. Although, a very shallow one at that. <laughs> Borped. Acknowledged. Oh, come on, Allie. It's okay to tell her how happy you are to see her save. <laughs> I know I'd do the same thing if Instructor was... I mean... <laughs> Jeez. Right. Time for a proper introduction. I'm Gaius Warzel, former member of Class 7 and proud Nord. Good to meet you, new Class 7. <laughs> a proper introduction, but he hasn't given us his title or anything, like... How, how unfair is that? <laughs> it's proper Sumerian etiquette to introduce yourself with your title. It isn't the Ashen Chevalier, or the Purple Lightning, or whatever. <laughs> uh, all of Nord's people as strong as you two? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> God damn it, Kurt. 
I don't know. I forget. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Seems like, uh, seems like we got quite a bit going on between Ouroboros, the Black Workshop, everyone involved. Yeah, apparently he was really far out of the way. I'll tell you about it sometime, but not today. <laughs> Is it like using his powers when he's got none left? Everyone's really hammering it in. Stop doing shit on your own. You need everyone's help. Get it through that thick skull of yours already, you dumbass. private lecture from you. You say, stop. <laughs> uh. And with that, our nice little romantic trip to Byronia Island is over. Six fifty PM. Looks like the uh, Nobles Conference is still going strong here. <laughs> and of course, Eustace is incredibly worried. <laughs> Damn, dude. That ain't a declaration of love. I don't know what is. Appearance alone almost knocked me to the ground. And of course, as Nariponian, noticing the uh, similarities between her and the Lance Maiden. <laughs> All that beautiful blonde hair has me so curious to see her face. <laughs> and yeah, it looked exactly the same as the one that destroyed Corellia Fortress. Stepped in it now. <laughs> Apparently, Toval and Agate are helping out here. Well, if we got two very powerful bracers on our side. That's uh, that's good news for us. 
<laughs> that will not be necessary. And of course, uh, Marcus Ballad's like, you know what? Let's, uh, not do anything intelligent here. It's time to do something really stupid instead. <laughs> And that sounds to me like insubordination. Uh. <laughs> and of course, we're uh, gonna play up to his ego rather than uh, try the aggressive tact. You don't really want to provoke those two. Excuse me, Mr. Future Duke? Hmm? Oh, the girl from yesterday. My name is Muse Egret, granddaughter of Count Egret. I just wanted to say that I hope they make the right decision at the upcoming conference. Oh, so you're Count Egret's... <clears throat> I see. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Farewell now. <laughs> Have a pleasant night. Stroked his ego while being as... You know... Venomous as possible. <laughs> yep, play him like a fiddle. Amazing what a little ego stroking can do for a man's attitude. <laughs> Hey Freya, how's it going? <laughs> You've caught me near the end of the stream here, but uh, I'm planning to at least finish up the night events. I'm probably just going to make a quick cut partway through though. Just because this episode's running a little long. Just waiting to get control. <laughs> And everyone's kind of like, oh, geez, Muse. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's a really fun game. I, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I've heard all about you. This is the first time we've met in person, isn't it? I have to admit, I'm jealous of you. These days, I'm pretty much an Imperial noble. Been a while since I've been back to Nord. It's a pleasure to meet you, Brigadier General. To be honest, I was away for a bit myself. <laughs> I know the feeling. Trust me. You're talking to a guy who bought Gold Steel 3 and 4 in Japanese. I mean, go for it. <laughs> well, between the society and the conference, tomorrow's bound to be a big day. I feel like it's just cruel not to be able to play Gold Steel 4 after finishing Gold Steel 3. May the wind and Adios be with you, Gaius. Good luck completing your mission. Yes. Thank you for the kind words. But it's not a mission. It's my duty as a member of Class 7. <laughs> of course, our Nords are being cryptic together. Uh, having the script at least covers the story and quest events. You will end up missing a few things and... Wow! It's so beautiful! Getting used to the gameplay is a bit difficult as well. Just, uh, I mean, the gameplay is the same, but it's just figuring out what your buttons do and what your curia bombs are. You'll learn to read a few of those things real quick, though. The sea is illuminated by hundreds of flames. So, this is Ordis's famous summer festival. 
<laughs> it's just like Angelica was saying. We should take the time to enjoy ourselves while we're here. Yeah, a little bit of fun won't kill us. <laughs> it might be a bit early, but now seems like the time to strike if you're looking for souvenirs. Woo! <laughs> I'm on it! <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I can find a decent bar around here. Ash, you're underage. You're underage. No decent bar would serve you. Instructor, the lights are so romantic. How would you like to go for a walk along the harbor? Just the two of us. Could, Could you, you not? This has become the norm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, we've uh, regained control. So I'm going to make a quick save. I'm going to cut the episode here, but I'll be back in a few minutes. I just gotta do some things. I'll be back. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to do the needful. And if you're watching for Twitch, thank you for coming. I'll see you guys in a few minutes.